The strategy going into today's game versus Summit was to try to get the ball to our playmakers, obviously, and, and help them get to the edge in the run game and, and down the field vertically in the passing game. And then defensively, we had to do a good job versus their misdirection run. Uh, they're a great running team, and I thought our girls did a wonderful job. The most improvement I think our girls have made since week one are just coming together as a team, kind of learning the rules and how to play the game, and, and now kind of their competitive spirit has taken over. So super proud of where our girls are right now and excited about the tournament coming up. In preparation for the playoffs in two weeks, uh, we're going to spend a little extra practice time, try to pick up another day of the week of practice uh, each week going in and continue to hold, hone in on those flag pulling skills and throwing and catching. I've seen the ex excitement in the sport grow since the beginning because we've all got a lot more competitive and excited to play our games on these Sundays and excited to go to practice and get out and compete together. And more people have come to watch our games, so it's super fun, it's growing super fast. My favorite part of playing flag football this year is getting to play with athletes from other sports at Ravenwood, such as a few friends on the soccer team, the rugby team, etc. It's fun getting to all mix together and put our talent together on one team. I'm most excited about getting the chance to play like some of the better teams in the playoffs again, getting another chance to beat teams that we lost to. And it's anyone's game, so it's just who shows up on May 7th. And I'm excited to get to play at Nissan Stadium and in front of the big crowd and stuff like that, so, yeah. Go, go, go! Run, 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 run! Yeah. 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 Yeah.